Welcome back, welcome back one and all to the channel Jamaican Redneck. Well, exciting times. Want the sun out again, kind of rain for a while. We need the rain, so respect. See, so I we get some rain, so we thank, we, we give thanks for that. However, because we depend upon the sun to do some things, um, we only want the rain for so much time and then we need back some sun. So, exciting time, come back with the sun. I want to introduce you to the new thing we we'll just come up with as project. We kind of recognize that eh, with the storm coming, we kind of need to have a backup system. Um, just in case you lose power. Not, not necessarily keep you the extended period of time, but something to just sustain your, your needs, like your refrigerator, um, your, I, not, your, your laptop, your iPad, you know, stuff like that, and charge your phone. So, we kind of come up with a little device where kind of satisfied that need and you know we re we're really impressed um, with how the little device works so basically I identify my footprint basically for the day is pretty much um, my workstation when we do my work and um, when we uh, take my breaks to watch TV and such forth so that is when we really watch the TV so I start off by identifying my footprint my needs which is about um, uh, 50 60 watts for the day so I got a hundred watt solar panel and kind of set up a little system that allows me to watch TV for free all day. And as you can see here, I'm not actually the system, don't worry about it. Let's show you, so you say, I don't know, gimmicks. Here's your plug for the TV, here's your plug uh, for the Roku, here's the TV. Uh, from this morning, I've been watching TV pretty much continuously. Um, I also charge my power tool once the sun comes up. Cause right now I'm pulling roughly about uh, probably 70 uh, watt. Cause I'm getting good um, um, uh, good coverage right now on the sun, and I'll show you my solar panel. Uh, but I just want to um, bring you up to speed on what we've been up to because it's been a while uh, since I really posted any videos and such forth. But I wanted at least to have something comprehensive um, to show you guys. So let me just show you some of the. Um, things that you need to actually start a project like this and again this are the ideal bush project let's say that Jamaica you're there in the bush you go to the choppy bush at daytime and you know you kind of sleep over in that bush at night time no problem once you see this system you'll see the need for this system as a half a grid system to supply your needs you can even run a pump you could even run a refrigerator off of this little system that I set up. All you need to do is identify your needs. You look at the back of the appliance and you'll see what, how much consumption the device uses. Like with this TV here, I'll show it to you. It uses 40 watts. So basically it uses 40 watts per hour. So 40 watt hour it uses per hour. So that's where you start. If I need to watch TV for 5 hours a day, I need to accommodate our system that can accommodate 2,000 watt hour, right? That's just the overall without adding in any um, 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 backup factor for cloudy days or such food. Just dry for the day, I need to produce two, let me see, 40 times, um, 40 times 5 is to 200 so I just need to produce 200 watt hour for the day so if I get a panel that is a hundred watt hour um, and have it in the Sun for five hours even at a 80% efficiency I should still be able to produce enough power not only not only enough power to run the device but also to charge the battery in the process for run it at night for some sort of sustained period probably an hour or two but not only that if you run a tv yes but if you are running an i charging middle ipad and and phone off it i could do this all night um to be honest with you uh, so now that i introduce you to the project let me show you some of the things them that i'm um, going to you're going to need not only the solar panel but you're also going to need what's called a controller what the controller does is control the current coming in from the panel to your battery going to the load so this pretty much bringing the, the current in a one state spin it around <coughs> through a 12 volt push it through a battery <coughs> and you get 120 volt 110 volts <coughs> sorry <coughs> using an inverter 
So you basically need a controller, inverter, and a solar panel and wires as you'd expect. So let me walk you through the building. So basically, just to show you that's the TV, you see the wires running from the TV here. So there's no prop coming all the way down, up into the inverter. And you could see here the TV and the Roku device as well as the controller. Now, just reading the controller, right now I'm pushing in 13.5 volt from the um, solar panel. You could see here where I'm, I'm charging from the solar panel and I'm pushing to the battery. So you could see my battery is roughly about 100% or almost and I'm pushing to the load. You could also go into your menu and see that is the um, thing that is load to the battery. I haven't read the, completely read the um, manual as yet but I'll do that. So I can make changes here and make adjustments. Once I understand, so the wires go in then are your solar panel wire, positive and negative, your battery terminals, and then you take the load of the battery to the inverter. So let me walk you over to the back so you can see that. You see, I made up a nice uh, little car just to package it. So as I say, this is a nice bush system. You can see someone going out off the grid through the single Jeep, through this panel mule, or whatever, or drag it out yourself bring it in the bush, set up your panel, and you're good to go. So here is where I have two batteries. Now, you know, we, you know, we don't like spending the money for the watches, you know. So what we do, we go down to the zone and check with brethren, and then just watch that. Uh, see two batteries here, you know. All right? And we just kind of set up the battery, them batteries in parallel. So the batteries are wired in parallel, and these here are your um, inverter um, connections. I also put some wheels on the card because I can do some weight to it uh, again we deal with batteries so just give you a overall look on the little system you see and right now again I'm watching TV since this morning since the sun out and I'm producing enough power to not only run the TV but also to charge a battery to overnight consumption so alright so why we do that also got wires so I gotta have a wire that go to your panel. Like right now the panel can kind of get to the shade is angled directly in the sun. And you know, once I get some of the sunlight, I have the panel um, to give you a bit of visual, I'll show you. But this frame, I pretty much um, made that frame um, where it is possible to angle it, the, the, um, depending on the angle of the sun. And you could see just panning around it. Um, it's, it's just basically made out of wood. So basically everything make a free wood line around in the garage and you can see behind it enough space so we can have cool air move behind the panel. Uh, sometimes people folks believe it's the heat that creates the current but no it's the light. The heat actually makes the panel less efficient. Um, so you could see I have roughly about 20 or so um, uh, feet of wire. So at least I have options to move it um, into the sun. So you could see a nice little system um, that you can use to actually cover your footprint and actually um, the, the, the take yourself off the grid to some extent are used as a backup system for me right now is have to minimize my um, energy consumption since working from home you know kind of need something to reduce the um, energy consumption so right now this is it because again once I stick this out in the sun I'm watching TV all day, pretty much all day right up to roughly about probably 7 o'clock um, when the sun breaks uh, at this time of year. And I have all the monitors, that, even on the, the inverter. Oh, I didn't even say this is a 1000 watt inverter. You have to oversize on the inverter. So since I needed a 400, 100, uh, I'm running a 100 watt, um, 40 watt TV. I just went oversized on the inverter for a, to a thousand watts. So I basically can run my fridge. If, um, if this controller could deal with um, the surge capacity, I could probably run the fridge of this unit for probably get, get, get probably an hour if the sun is out between 
um, charging and dumping off some of the charge burning from the battery depending on how much uh, watts I think probably the, 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 the fridge maybe uh, require probably two three hundred um, watts per hour to sustain so yeah I think I could probably run the fridge and you know what I'm going to run a test off that uh, when I get a chance so I'm going to roll all this thing in there hook it up on the solar and stick it on the fridge so you could see that that works so yeah nice little half the grid system can't complain uh, very impressed um, with the little system as well as um, the solar panel out there so you can see getting good uh, coverage of the sunlight uh, initially it was uh, running low because i didn't have enough wire and wasn't tracking the sun right it's a little bit of work to walk around behind and, and track with the sun but it's kind of also cool uh, to know that for the day you can produce half of your energy footprint for the day um, using solar which is free so my roi i think what they say about 18 cents let's just call it 20 cents per quick kilowatt hour so each kilowatt hour that i burn is a uh, each each so, so 20 cents so each time i burn five kilowatt hour it's a uh, it's um one dollar so I, I, I probably burn i probably save myself about a dollar for the day so basically based on the price of this system if I maintain the same usage for the system for this year, I should be ahead and I should be making a profit at least within the first hundred and some odd days of the year. Within a third of the year, I should start turning over RI because um, I burn five hours a day, right? And the system total is what I spend is roughly about $200. So I was hitting RI way earlier. And folks who have them installed on the roof which they are is roughly roughly 20 30 years which by the time they they they, 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 they are supplier out of business so to me setting up my own system like this is more beneficial and just you know taking my basic needs off the grid uh, just to know that you know kind of self-sufficient and um understand how this thing work and can have the system so again jamaican redneck we know all about guns even though we love that um, but we are also about technology and sharing uh, knowledge which is wealth uh, for the community. Alright, so peace, Jamaica and Red. Running completely off the grid at this point. See? TV, controller, inverter, TV, local device. Have a little box. I set up a package hole, I think. Uh, voila! Oh, there's a solar panel with homemade, um, homemade mount. We can't hang it in the sun. So you see it? A man in me, I run completely off of the grid. I'm going to spend a dollar as far as watching my TV from man and charging my power device. Doing that completely off of solar and I watch TV. Alright? Peace out. Jamaican redneck.